It's called vanadium, and I bet you've never heard of it. It's actually an element on the periodic table, number 23, in fact. But the important point here is that it has the potential to do for batteries what silicon has done for solar cells. That is, revolutionary sector transforming a basic breakthrough. But that's just essential. Let's talk with Bill Radvik. He is the president and CEO of American Vanadium, one of the few companies that actually owns a vanadium mine, and that's the only mine in the United States. It's in Nevada. So tell me, Bill, uh, how might the world be different if that potential I talked about is one day realized? Right. Well, what the world now acknowledges is that wind and solar power are not effective because they're producing the power not when you need it. So storage is required to make it a true solution. You know, we now understand there just isn't the coal and the oil in the world to go that long that renewables can be actually on par with that kind of energy need. And what is it about vanadium that allows batteries to be able to store it in greater capacities than what now ba yeah. batteries today can yeah. do? Vanadium flow batteries are seen as the big scalable solution, uh, largely because it's the one metal that you can use in solution that actually um, can store mass amounts of energy. And so all this is huge tanks of, of vanadium and sulfuric acid. The more energy you want to store, the bigger the tank. And the mine is in the permitting stage. You hope to get right. production going in a couple of years. And this could be great because uh, it's not a rare earth metal, but it is, you can't find it everywhere. Right. And China, Russia, South Africa, right. these are the countries that kind of hold the market right. uh, on these kinds of rare And earth. for the United States, that's very important. It's, it, is a, it is a critical metal. In fact, the uh, United States' biggest import is from Venezuela. So not a lot of friendly countries uh, that uh, source from. How big uh, of a supply do you have underground in Nevada relative to the world market? Well, we currently could produce about 5% of the world needs and uh, actually meet about 25% of America's needs with our mine. Well, when do you think, uh, once production is up and running, uh, will we start seeing this become a catalyst for accelerated development of uh, solar and wind power? Well, the you know storage is actually happening now in a small way with lithium-ion batteries, um, but that's only because there's an oversupply from the car business. But that's actually supposed to diminish because they just aren't efficient and effective in the in scale, um, which is really important for us as we go through the permitting phase towards production. We expect the battery business in the next few years, uh, the, the vanadium flow battery business, to really become critical. All right, well, uh, 25 years ago, who ever heard of a silicon? I'm sure we're now going to, in the coming years, be very familiar with the word vanadium. Bill Radvek, thank you so much. Thank you.